Praise the Lord, everyone. Praise the Lord. Welcome to Shawnee's Prayer. And as always, I start my prayer off with a blood scripture coming from Romans chapter 5, verse 9. Much more than being now justified by his blood, we shall be saved from wrath through him. Let's go to the throne of grace. Father God, I thank you, Father God, for another day, Father God. Thank you for another day that you have kept us, Father God. Another day that you have blessed us, Father God, to be able to see our families, Father God, to be able to see our children, Father God, to see our spouses, Father God, to see our loved ones, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Thank you for strength on today, Father God. Thank you for everyone, Father God, who has the ability to go out and work, Father God. But I pray that you will bless everyone, Father God, who's able to actually make a living for their families, Father God, and to be able to work and not have to depend on other forms of, of incomes, Father God. I thank you, Father God, in the name of Jesus. And I pray for those of us, Father God, who may not be able to physically work, Father God. I pray for those, Father God, who may not be able to leave their homes to work, Father God. But I thank you for every way, Father God, and every um, avenue of income that you bring to each and every person, Father God. Whether it's through Social Security, Father God. Whether it's through a 401k, Father God. Whether it's through an inheritance, Father God. In the name of Jesus, Lord God, I thank you for everything. Every form of income, Father God, that you bless us with, Father God. I thank you, Father God, and I pray and ask you, Father God, to watch over each and every person right to me on the name of Jesus. Look down upon those who are down in their spirit, Father God. Look down upon those who are discouraged on today. I pray for the families, Father God, from that massacre, Father God, in Buffalo, Father God. I pray for each of those family members, Father God. I pray, Father God, for the family members of of what happened in that church in California, Father God. In the name of Jesus, Lord God. I pray for every family, Father God, who've had to bury someone, Father God, because of someone else's um hatred or because of someone else's negligence father god in the name of jesus father god i pray for each person right to me on the name of jesus lord god i pray that you will uplift them father god in the name of jesus father god there's some hurt there's some pain father god that only you can help us with father god in the name of jesus father god because sometimes when you're hurting father god sometimes when you're mourning and you're grieving with father god nothing helps father god even when somebody says god is with you or God would not put more on you than, than you can bear. Sometimes when you're in the thicket of it, sometimes when you're broken and you're hurting, those things don't always help to hear, Father God. So I pray that you will give that person what they need to hear. That person that that, that whatever it is that they need to be able to feel, Father God, so they, they can be comforted, Father God, in a time such as this, as this, Father God. Lord God, I pray for every caretaker. I pray for every caregiver, Father God, in the name of Jesus, Father God. Lord God, I pray for those, Father God, in the name of Jesus, Father God, who are taking care of parents, Father God. I pray I pray for those who are taking care of spouses, Father God. I pray for those who are taking care of adult children, Father God. They are taking care of grandchildren, Father God. In the name of Jesus, Father God. Lord God, somebody is taking care of an in-law, Father God. And somebody has to take care of all of above, Father God. And that's a lot of stress to put on someone, Father God. So I pray for them, Father God, in the name of Jesus, Father God. Lord God, I pray for each and every person who's dealing with PTSD. Father God. In the name of Jesus, Father God. Lord God, it may be trauma, Father God, just from being a caregiver, Father God. It could be that kind of trauma, Father God, because sometimes when you are a caregiver and a caretaker, Father God, it's very taxing on your body. It's very taxing on your mind and on your spirit, Father God. In the name of Jesus, but you know all things, Father God. And I pray for my friends, especially, Father God. In the name of Jesus, you know them, Father God, by name, Father God. In the name of Jesus, Father God, you know those who are taking care of their mother and their father, Father God. You know those who's taking care of a spouse. You know those, Father God, who's taking care of their parents and an in-law, Father God. You know those, Father God, whose parents may be bed-bound, Father God. In the name of Jesus, Father God, I pray for strength for each and every last 
one of them, Father God. I pray that you will uplift them, Father God, in a way that only you can, Father God. In the name of Jesus, Father God. And I pray for those, Father God, who are in nursing homes, my God. I pray that you will cover them in the blood, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father God. Lord God, I come and ask you, Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God. So watch over each and every person right now in the name of Jesus. Somebody needs you right now, Father God. Someone needs you to step in right now, Father God. Someone needs you to make a way right now, Father God. Someone needs you to open the door right now, Father God. In the name of Jesus, Father God. Someone is depending upon you for you to make a way for them. Someone is depending upon you, Father God, for you to heal them. For you to deliver them, Father God. In the name of Jesus, Father God. Some people are in dire distress, Father God. In the name of Jesus, Lord God. Look down upon each and every person who has been displaced, Father God. Whether it's due, due to a fire, Father God. Whether it's due to mold, Father God. Whether due, it's due to their homes, but just in condemned conditions, Father God. I pray, Father God, for each of those people, Father God, who have been disp displaced, Father God. Lord God, I pray for the children, Father God, who have been displaced, Father God. I pray for every child that's in foster care, Father God. Allow them to know it's not their fault, Father God. In the name of Jesus, Father God. Allow them to know that you love them, Father God. And I pray for each of those foster care parents, Father God, that they would treat these children, Father God, with respect with love, with compassion, and with kindness, Father God. In the name of Jesus, Father God, I pray for every child, every teenager that's in juvenile detention centers right now, Father God. I pray for every child that's in an orphanage, Father God. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord God, I pray for those in prison on today. I pray for those who have been wrongly convicted, Father God, in the name of Jesus, Father God. And I pray, Father God, in the name of Jesus, for each and every person that we, they Will come unto repentance, Father God. In the name of Jesus, Father God. Lord God, I come and ask you, Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, to break every addiction, Father God, off the lives of your people, my God, in the name of Jesus. For we all were made in the image of you, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. So I pray that you will break the hands of addiction, Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God. Break the hands of lack off of our lives, Father God, in the name of Jesus, Father God. Renew our minds, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Father God, that we will be more like you, Father God, in the name of Jesus, Father God. Help us on today, my God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God. Help us to follow your lead, oh God, in the name of Jesus, oh God. Help us not to be led away, Father God, in the name of Jesus, from all things holiness, all things righteousness, oh God, in the name of Jesus, Father God. Lord God, we need your rights in the name of Jesus, Father God. We need you to step in, Father God, in the name of Jesus, Father God. We need you to do what only you can upon this land, oh God, in the name of Jesus, oh God. Oh, Father God, I come and ask you, Father God, in the name of Jesus, oh God, to heal this earth, oh God, in the name of Jesus, go, oh God. Lord God, I pray that you go to every part of this earth, oh God, in the name of Jesus, oh God, and that you will drop your healing down, oh God, in the name of Jesus, oh God. Heal this land of racism, oh God, of discrimination, Father God, of stereotype, Father God, in the name of Jesus, Father God. Help us not to be judgmental, Father God, in the name of Jesus, Father God. Lord God, in the name of Jesus, oh God, allow us, Father God, to allow you to have your way, Father God, in the name of Jesus, Father God. For it's not our will be done, Father God, but it's your will be done in the name of Jesus, Father God. So, Lord God, I pray and ask you, Father God, look down upon those that want to give up right now, Father God. Look down upon those who are on the verge of backsliding right now in the name of Jesus, Father God. Look down upon those that want to end it all right now in the name of Jesus. Jesus, Father God. Step in, Father God, in the name of Jesus, oh God. Step in in the way that only you can, my God, in the name of Jesus, Father God. Step in right now, my God, in the name of Jesus, oh God. Send help to that person right now in the name of Jesus, Father God. Send deliverance to that person right now in the name of Jesus, Father God. And Lord, I thank you, oh God. I thank you, Father God. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Lord God. I thank you in the name of Jesus, God. And I praise you and I honor you and I glorify you, Father God. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I pray you. Amen, amen, and amen. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. I pray that something was said.
doing this prayer to encourage you, to uplift you, to motivate you, to inspire you. I pray that something was said to bring you the healing that you need in your, in your life. To bring you the deliverance that you need in your life. And I just pray that God will reign supreme in your life. And that you will keep God first. No matter what. I pray that you will keep God first. And know that God loves you. Yes, he loves you. Regardless of what lifestyle you may be in. Regardless of what you may be doing right now. I want you to know that God loves you. Not only does he love you, but he's here to forgive you of everything that you have done or everything that you're doing. All you have to do is repent. Just repent. Not just saying you're sorry, but truly, earnestly repent and turn away from whatever it is that you know is separating you from the love of God. So I just pray on today that you take advantage of knowing who God is and knowing that God loves you. And that God will forgive you. You just have to repent. And note that God is always there for you. Regardless of how it feels. Sometimes we feel like we're all alone. Sometimes it feels like God has ghosted us. And he has fors forsaken us. But I want you to know that's nothing but the trick of the enemy. He just wants us to stay discouraged. He wants us to feel like God does not love us. Or God has forgotten about us. But I want you to know on today. God has not forgotten about you. God knows your name. Whatever your name is. He knows your name. And I just pray on today that you be encouraged and be inspired, be uplifted. And don't forget to smile at someone else. Don't forget to say hey to someone else or hello to someone else or to hold the door for someone else on today. Pay it, pay it forward. Someone has blessed you. Pay it forward. Maybe pay for someone's groceries if you're able or be able to um, pay for somebody to get on the bus or on the train. Just whatever it is, pay it forward just by giving someone an encouraging word. Pay it forward just by praying for someone else on today. Whatever, we all are able to pay it forward in some form or some fashion. God bless you on today. God bless you and God bless you.